Octopus Prime with the Cooter Report for the Skeptic Fence Show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to bag me some horn kickers tonight. Let's see who we got this week. You know, I liken the gay marriage crowd to a new group of mathematicians who say two plus two is five. And the traditional will say, no, it's four. It's always been four. It always will be. And, they, and the new ones say, no, 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 we insist that it's five. So the traditionalists say, okay, for you, it can be five. For us, it's four. And the new ones say, no, 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 no. It has to be five for you also. And if it's not five for you, then you're a mathophobe. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, so, so his point is that traditionally, marriage has been one man and one woman. And he'll reference the Bible and say that that's where he gets his, his facts from. But then, you know, he, he tries to bring something absolute into it, like math, saying like, oh, well, we know that 2 plus 2 is 4. It's always been 4. Why are you trying to change the definition of what 2 plus 2 is, is what he's trying to get at. Here's the thing. When it comes to procreation, yes, it takes a man and a woman to procreate. Guess what? That's not, however, the only purpose of marriage. People can procreate without marrying, and they can marry without procreating. See, so if, if you wanted to say, like, it's obvious it takes one man and one woman to make a child, not necessarily to raise a child, because I could disagree with you there, because then you could say, what if people get divorced? What if what if the husband or wife dies and a single parent left to raise the child? Are you going to say that they're bad parents automatically because there's only one of them? No, you wouldn't go that far, but you, you liken this to gay marriage because it's sounds absurd and that's because it is but not for the reason the people you're speaking to thinks it's absurd it's because it's not fucking logical you're skipping steps here to try and make a point and you do a poor job at that and keep in mind that he's not about to let us believe that two plus two equals five if we support gay marriage and how wrong we are traditionally he, he doesn't want to allow us to believe that or or to do it he, he in fact he says no, no, they they want us. They're trying to force us to believe it, and and force you know it's not good enough just for them to do what they do. And you'll notice that he didn't use science; he used math because when it comes to science, Christians are very much in favor of making sure that their version of two plus two equals five is forced on everybody in the public schools, in the in the courthouses, and everything. They they want to push their version of two plus two equals five on you while saying that. If you support gay marriage or equal rights for everybody, no matter what, uh, then then you're the crazy person that believes two plus two equals five. And really, when, when we talk about liberty and justice for all, doesn't that mean that people can be left alone, that no one else gets to change definitions on them and change life for them let everybody do what they want to do i have no intention of ever telling any two consenting adults that they can't do what they want to do i'm not going to stop them unless those two consenting adults want to get married and they're of the same sex <laughs> He, he said, tries to sound so innocent. I would never do... He's doing that. He's being a fucking bigot that's denying people rights because of their sexual orientation right in front of you. And then been like, I would never keep anyone from doing anything. Yes, you are. We're watching you fucking do it right now. But they have no right to say to me that I must change the way that I think in order to accommodate what they believe. That's where the injustice comes in. And we need to understand that. All right, just to be clear here, he has the right to make you accommodate his belief, his faith, his, his what he believes is traditional or whatever. He, you don't have the right to make him respect you, what you want to do. He says you shouldn't have the right to in, in, you know, change other people's lives. That's why I'm not going to let them get gay married. Because that would have, I, I guess he thinks it would have more of an influence on him if two gay people got married, then it would on those two people that are fucking getting married. 
dumbass. And I think really that it's something that we have to be willing to stand up for. People have to be willing to stand up for what they believe in because if you go along to get along, the other side wins by default. I mean, do you hear the phrasing of his statements? He's like, if you go along to get along, the other side wins. It's like, he, it's so us and them. Us being the people who say, I know that gay marriage won't affect me directly. It won't change my life in any way. I'm not, you know, especially since I'm not gay. There are plenty of gay people out there who are still like, yeah, even if it's legal, I'm not going to go get married, you know, just because it's legal. I mean, it's, it's fucking retarded. But, but that mindset of like, oh, we're going to lose. We, we can't let them win. <laughs> it shows you exactly where this motherfucker is coming from. They want you to go along to get along. That's what political correctness is all about. Keeping people silent. Keeping them from actually talking about what's going on in their society. And if you can just keep them silent while you change the fabric of society beneath their feet, you have fundamentally changed that society without a discussion. So, so the guy who opened up with like, we, he believes two plus two equals four and we're the idiots that think two plus two equals five, then closes with like, and you, you know, you got to have the discussion. You know, but he, I guess he doesn't want to hear the discussion coming from the other side. He just wants to, you know, tell you why it's so, so wrong. And, and he's like, and, and I'm not a bigot just because I don't want them queers to have the same rights as us straight folk. All right. Coming from a black man, denying civil rights to people. Uh, just a few short decades after black people themselves got civil rights here in the United States. It's it's for that kind of mind-blowing stupidity that you, Ben Carson, win the Cooter Award for being the dumbest horn kicker I could find this week. Until next time. Cooter! <laughs>